So now we're going to connect a Bluetooth Pulse chest belt to our Flyon. As we can see here on the training screen that the motor output icon is being displayed and that is going to change as soon as we connect a Bluetooth device. To connect a Bluetooth device, in our case a Pulse chest belt, you got to hit the menu button on the remote and scroll down to the system, then down to the Bluetooth icon. Here we can add a Bluetooth module as well as set it up to always automatically connect when I'm using my Bluetooth chest belt. To add a new Bluetooth device, you need to tap the search for a new device button. Note to be close to the bike and be wearing your Bluetooth chest belt when you're adding it. As soon as it can see it's been found, just accept and connect it. When I now go back to the connected devices screen, I can see my pulse chest belt is there. And like I mentioned earlier, I can set up my fly-on to automatically connect to my pulse chest belt once it's in range of the bike. Now when I go back to the training screen, I can see that the motor output icon has changed to my connected Bluetooth device current pulse. In the performance screen, it shows me my current pulse rate, in the averages screen, it shows me my average pulse rate, and in the maximum screen, it naturally shows me my maximum pulse rate. Now if I wanted to disconnect the Bluetooth device, I have to go back to the systems menu. Scroll all the way down to the Bluetooth devices and choose the current Bluetooth pulse chest mount. It will show my current pulse, the device's address, and at the very bottom you'll find the disconnect device button. It will ask you again if you want to disconnect. Once you've disconnected and it's done, I can now go back to the main screen and I can see that my motor output icon has been restored.